I'm Walter Applebaum. I come from Asbury Park, New Jersey. I've been in this business for my entire life. I've been around the meat and lamb, uh, all up and down Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Florida, Europe, and now Michigan. The owner, Jeremy Sasson, had reached out to me via Instagram and uh, said, hey, you know, come up to uh, Detroit. I have some exciting projects going on. So uh, I hopped on a plane, came up here last September, and he drove me around and I couldn't believe what's going on here in Detroit. It reminds me of New York City in the 80s. And I said, I, I really wanted to be part of something special here. My role here at Prime and Proper is the executive butcher. I take care of all of the meat ordering, meat dry aging, cutting, making sure that all my weights are on spec, the quality. My responsibility is proper maintenance of my dry aging room, which is a full-time job in itself to make sure that everything is properly rotated, properly maintained, making sure that all of our proper muscles are being pulled at the appropriate time to be cut for the perfect steaks and making sure that I'm cutting enough for the day and then enough to get me started for the next day. So dry aging beef is, I'm getting what's called in green beef, which has been, once the animal's been harvested, I get it two days after it's been harvested. It has not been cryovac, so it's a fresh piece of meat. Once I get it here, I weigh it, I tag it, and I put on that tag the weight, what the item is, and it goes on my shelf in the appropriate section. And what you see now is the natural enzymes protecting that muscle by creating an outer, an outer layer, what we call bark. Now what's going on is those natural enzymes are breaking down all the fibers, all the connective tissues, turning all that excess water weight into gases and really condensing that muscle, making it, making it smaller, bringing it together, but also making it softer and more flavorful all at the same time. We do have clover ducks out of Long Island. Uh, I dry those for a minimum seven days. They're hung and then they're also taken care of with teriyaki and orange glaze. The Himalayan rock salt that I have in my room helps assist with the muscles to expel all that excess moisture. It also helps as a air purifier. It helps clean the air in the room and it also adds a little bit of flavor to the muscles. And I do have two loins that are going right now that I've had going since December 13th that will be ready at Christmas time for 2018. Uh, I have them coated in tallow fat that I also rendered with some herbs. So those muscles will take in all those beautiful flavors from that tallow fat and those herbs and just make an exceptionally beautiful steak. Starting with our tomahawk ribeye is 32 ounces of deliciousness. More fat, more flavor, and it's on the bone. You have seven steaks that come out of each loin, starting with the chuck end down to the sirloin end. And not only is it seven steaks, but it's seven different temperatures per steak from a well done all the way to a rare. Next in my case is domestic lamb, which comes out of Colorado. It is a animal that is raised the same way our USDA prime beef is raised. So it gets a lot of great grasses and grains. It makes the meat very, very sweet and the dry aging process just mellows out the entire muscle and it makes it one of the best steaks that we have here in house. Next in the case is the Japanese Miyazaka that comes from Japan. And those are four ounce steaks. There's so much going on with the flavor that's in that muscle. You can taste Japan. Uh, Wagyu tenderloins, those are seven ounces and that's an American Wagyu. Uh, it's gonna have a lot more flavor than a regular filet, and it's gonna be a little bit more delicate, softer, more flavor. Next in the case will be the 14 ounce boneless New York strip. I cut them a little bit differently so that you can enjoy the entire muscle from top to bottom, front to back, to inside to out, to outside to in. Uh, next in the case will be the 24 ounce porterhouse, which is the best of both worlds. You have a great New York and the best way to eat a filet on the bone, nothing better. I have been here since day one. Uh, we opened in November and it has been extremely busy. You know, if you don't have a re reservation and getting reservations by themselves is going to be quite time consuming, uh, but it is well worth the wait. It's nonstop from open to close. Uh, people are always calling, people are trying to get in and it's great to see this level of excellence being brought to the city of Detroit and the people accepting it and really growing with us all at the same time and really taking us in, in the city of Detroit.